You know, as Black News Tonight, it's important for us to cover this story because black people care about what's going on in the world. It's especially important for us to talk about the ways that a story affects the black community, both in the United States and around the diaspora. That's why we're going to talk about African students. That's why we're going to talk about uh, refugees. That's why we're going to talk about racism inside of Ukraine and Russia. And later on in the show, we'll be covering all of those things in great detail. But right now, I want to talk about the international community's response to the Ukrainian situation. As soon as Russia invaded Ukraine and the war broke out, everybody around the world was almost unanimous in its support for the Ukrainian people. Everybody stood up and spoke out about how this was wrong, and they talked about the humanitarian cost, and they talked about sympathy, they sent their prayers, they did all the things you do when bad things happen to people who don't deserve it. I ain't mad at that. That is cool. Here's my issue. The international community, specifically powerful nations, media outlets, and everyday citizens, especially white ones, have been so dishonest, so disingenuous, and also so mean-spirited in many ways in regard to how they are responding to what's going on in the Ukraine. Let's start with the dishonesty and the disingenuousness. When the war broke out in Ukraine, you got countries running around talking about, we stand with the Ukrainian people. This is a contravention of international law. We must recognize and respect territorial boundaries and integrity. We must allow people to be sovereign and govern themselves. We must honor, honor treaties. We must do all this stuff. And that sounds good, except many of the nations who are standing up and saying this stuff, Australia, did you do that with the Aborigines? No. The United States, how many countries have we invaded? How many countries have we bond, bombed? How much territory, integrity, and sovereignty have we ignored? How much funding have we given to nations that do it? Israel continues to not honor the territorial boundaries and sovereignty of the Palestinian people. They continue to violate international law. So for all these countries to stand up and speak with, with crocodile tears about the, the uh, Ukrainian people, and they don't say anything about things that are happening around the world, it's disturbing to me. It's also really problematic that we're having these conversations as if this is the first place or the first time that this happened. The very same week, the very same week that the Ukrainian people were harmed by Russia, Israel is bombing Syria, Saudi Arabia is bombing Yemen. Bombings are happening all around the world and it seems like the only people who got sympathy were the Ukrainian people. The only people who got international love and prayers and declarations and statements made were the European folk, the white folk, not the brown folk, damn sure not the black folk. Why? Hmm, I think we got a simple answer. And that answer is white supremacy. That answer of white supremacy speaks to racism, it speaks to Orientalism, it speaks to all these other, uh, what we call discourses, these things that have you think the world operates a certain way and you normalize it. So we think, oh, starvation happens in Africa, so if, if, uh, if there's a famine in East Africa, nobody trips because they think that's just what's supposed to happen. Oh, those Arabs been fighting forever, so when you see a bombing or, or some kind of uh, internal war, you don't trip about it when it happens in the Middle East, but somehow it's not supposed to happen here. And this ain't my theory. CBS News had somebody report that they said well this is happening in a Europe basically a European country and they're civilized he used the word civilized another reporter talked about it being people with blonde hair and blue eyes and how that's what makes this uh, a problem people keep talking about this as if it shouldn't happen here you right it shouldn't happen here but it shouldn't happen anywhere but the fact that the global community is only outraged when it happens to Ukraine they get mad when Crimea gets annexed they get mad when People from Kosovo and Kosovars get kidnapped back in the day, but they don't say anything about Nigerian girls getting kidnapped. They don't say anything about Lebanese people being bombed. They don't say anything about Afghanistan and Iraq. They don't say anything about Palestine. They don't say anything about Yemen. They don't say anything about Kenya. They don't say anything about Somaliland. They don't say anything about any of these countries, South Sudan, Sudan. They don't say anything about anything other than white folk. That's why on Black News Tonight, we cover these stories every single night. Because we can't wait for the media to tell us when to be outraged. 
We can't wait for the international community of, of powerful elites and, 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 and powerful bodies of money. I'm talking about the United States. I'm talking about France. I'm talking about Germany. I'm talking about the World Bank. I'm talking about all these companies and institutions that tell us when to care and how to care. We can't wait for them. We got to have our own compass, our own values, and our own principles. And everybody out there that's bleeding their heart for Ukraine, good. Save some sympathy for black and brown folk. Or be honest and say you only care because they white. All right, everybody, be sure to join the conversation. We want to hear from you. Make sure you head over to our BNC Instagram and Twitter pages. Let us know how you feel. Also, visit our website, bnc.tv, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out clips from the show.